Today we're going to be looking at vector graphics. Vector graphics are not like the bitmap and raster graphics we've been looking at. They are made uh, out of lines governed by equations and maths rather than a grid of pixels. We're going to be using Boxy SVG. So if I just search for that, uh, so Boxy SVG, so it's at boxy-svg.com. And uh, here you get up Boxy SVG and you launch the app by clicking here. I'm just going to point out the tutorials button. So if you want to find out more about it, that's where you can go. I'm going to show you the very basics today and we're going to make a uh, character or logo. So if I launch the app, now you've got tools over here and the sort of settings for the tools over here. So if I, for example, show you the blob tool, I can make a blob like this and I can make a blob like that. Okay. Now, uh, if I click on the uh, transform tool, you can see that this blob is one object and it can be moved around. And uh, you can also click on it again and then you can rotate it and you can uh, stretch and skew it like so and you can go the other way like that so uh, the real trick comes in realizing that these are vector objects so these are not painted onto a canvas they're defined mathematically and so i can click on this edit button and you see it's made up of lines through little points and i can drag these out like that oh look I'm kind of making a snake already uh, and then there's little lines these things here uh, so these this is a Bezier curve and I can drag my uh, handle out just like that uh, again you can drag them in and actually if you double click it makes it a sharp point like so uh, whereas if you uh, double click again it makes it into a round point so that's what vectors are and you can create a full range of things like uh, circles you can create ellipses and each one of those objects if we go back to the transform tool you can move independently and this is how vector graphics are made up now if I zoom in on part of this I'm going to use the control key and move the mouse wheel what you'll notice is as I get further and further in, there is no pixelation whatsoever. Uh, in fact, you could print this at the size of a side of a large building and it would still be absolutely perfect in terms of its smoothness around the edges, no pixelation at all. For this reason, vectors are often used for logos. They can also be animated. I think that's enough for our first session. Go and get yourself onto Boxy SVG and then you will be ready for our next video.